Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is gonna start off on my phone just cuz uh, I'm pretty happy about this cold front coming through. I know I'm always complaining about how hot it is, but check this out, guys. Hell yeah. A short video. I'm just gonna fix this auto issue I've been having. The stock daughter body isn't gonna work on my Skunk 2 manifold. I'm gonna have to put the 70 back on there and get a, a bigger coupler. Damn, it's finally here. Can't, can't shut that door, so water's gonna be fucking filling my bay up. That's always cool. <laughs> Shit. Alright, luckily it stopped raining. Um, I don't even think I'm gonna bust out the camera for this video. I'm just gonna, it's gonna be a short and sweet video. Hopefully I can get to the bottom of this idling issue. But let me explain to you why, oh shit, why I think I have to put the 70 millimeter throttle body back on. So here it is right here. Please excuse my crummy legs. I just devoured a box of a uh, Cane's chicken. <laughs> um, so this is the back of the 70 millimeter. Okay, this is the, you know, the top and the bottom. And the gasket's on there. This is a, a stock gasket right here. This is what I think is happening, okay? I'm, I'm going to line up the bolt holes. Uh, there, it's somewhat lined up. So this passage here is basically for the IAC. It, it'll open the valve and suck air. There's a hole in the front of the throttle body. And basically, all that is is like a controlled vacuum leak. That's all the IAC valve is. It just... It, it creates a vacuum leak, but it's it's in, it's intentional. It's controlled. It uh, you know opens up for more air, higher idle. It'll shut, uh, close <clears throat> the suction, lower the idle. That's that's basically all that is. And what's happening here is there's a gap. You know, for the stock throttle body, there's it's just there's a gap right here. So I think when I put the stock throttle body on there with this gasket, it was uh, it's leaking into the IAC ports. That's my my best guess. Um, so far, I mean, I'm not really like super diving into this and figure out why the stock daughter body won't work. But what I do know is that I did not have any idle issues with the 70 millimeter on the Skunk 2 manifold. I had zero drivability problems. I know for a fact it worked. The only the only reason I switched back to the stock daughter body is because this one was too big. But I think I'd rather just uh, get a bigger coupler and adapt it to this one because I know for sure this will work. So. I'm going to fire it up and show you the idling issue I'm having, swap out the throttle bodies real fast, and then hopefully have a fix at the end of the video. Alright, here we are. I'm just going to fire it up real fast and show you the, the high idle. And I've tried adjusting the idle screw. Sorry, I've adjusted the IAC settings in Chrome. I've done everything I could think of to compensate for the high idle, but I think it's just that gasket issue, or the, you know, the offset I was showing you. So here, let me, let me show you firsthand. And also, a good indication of a vacuum leak is when you rev it up and it's slow to come back down. That's that's an indication that it's sucking in air and it's, uh, here, look, look, check it out. It's a little lazy to come back down, but it's based, that's as low as I could get at 1500 RPMs. No matter what I do, that's as low as it gets. So I'm going to go ahead and throw on the 7 millimeter, the 70 millimeter now and uh, come back and we'll take a look to see if it's fixed. Okay guys, I got the uh, 70 millimeter back on there, mounted on the Skunk 2. Got this junk off of here. Somehow, somewhere there's an issue with, uh, at this point it's still like an educated guess. I just need to fire it up and see if it's even fixed. But uh, I guess here goes, here goes nothing. It's, uh, See what the hell happens. Please don't idle high. Come on. Oh, nice. Notice how now it drops down really fast. Hold on, let me get a little situated in here. I'm gonna tap the gas and it comes on really quick. Eh, not really quick, but quicker than did before. And the idle is nice and low, or it should be, about a thousand. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that somewhere, somehow, the uh, IAC was leaking past the gasket or the uh, something wasn't aligned right. I don't know if maybe I need like the bigger throttle body gasket on the stock throttle body. Maybe it's the stock gasket that's the issue. Cause people, I've seen people make, make it work and uh, I don't really feel like trying different shit and, and um, you know, modifying it to work. I just know for sure that that throttle body really works well with the manifold. So I'm just gonna fucking run it the way it is cause I know it works. I'm just gonna have to get a, a, a like an adaptive coupler. The intercooler piping is two and a half inch, and I might need to step it up to like two and three quarter, or maybe three inch. I'm not quite sure, but yep, that's gonna be it for this video. Just a quick and uh, simple video. Um, my next video though is gonna be pretty good, I hope, because uh, I'm gonna be making my downpipe. As you saw in one of my other videos, I ended up getting. Yeah, it's already starting to rust up a little bit. It's a mild steel V-band flange. So this is going to allow me to just like get regular old uh, exhaust pipe from the parts stores or whatever and just route and weld up my own exhaust. It's not stainless. doesn't need to be tigged or anything fancy. I'm just going to get some uh, steel exhaust and um, flux weld it together. I bought a, borrowed a welder from my buddy. I'm, I took it to the shop. It's at work. I'm going to be working on that tomorrow. I really want to try and get the exhaust routed down and hopefully mount it up to my um, exhaust system so it's you know going out back like full exhaust the way it's supposed to be so all right that's where we're at today and that's what i'm gonna do tomorrow so thanks for watching